Check this microphone out too. You need a good one. How's that feel in your ear holes? Oh man, it's summer, summertime. This is the first day of June, and there is someone special in the audience tonight. I don't want to embarrass them, but they got a birthday coming up next month, and so I want to just take a moment to give a preemptive birthday shout out to America. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fourth of July, Independence. I'm excited. I got my calendar marked. I don't know about y'all. Every, yeah, y'all. That's a word that's beautiful because uh, it's better than you guys. And I don't know if y'all, do y'all have a word for y'all here in Hawaii? Y'all. It's called y'all? Okay, yeah. yeah. Real creative. I guess y'all are the South, literally. Y'all are, are way more the South than the South. So you got that a lot. And uh, speaking of South, Southern activities, the way that I celebrate 4th of July every year without fail is eat a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure if America could talk, it would tell us all that what it wants more than anything for its birthday is for us all to eat hot dogs. And that's, uh, that's what I do for America. And uh, it's a big deal for me. A lot of people say, hey, that's not a big deal. I eat a hot dog every day. And I say, yeah, it's a big deal for me because I operate under the genre of eating referred to as being a freaking which is kind of like being a vegan, only you eat meat if somebody hands you some meat. <laughs> I'm all about that free meat. I'm not gonna pay for it, but I'm gonna eat that free meat. And that's my slogan, that's my catchphrase. You can put it on my tombstone. And when I say tombstone, I'm not talking about the stone they give you when you die. I'm talking about my pizza, my tombstone pizza. Put that free meat on my pizza. I'm going to eat it until I die, and then put it on my tombstone. <laughs> Want to eat that free meat? <laughs> anyway, I was, in, uh, I was at my friend's America's birthday party last year, and he hands me a hot dog, and I chomp on it immediately, as I do. But to my shock and horror, this fucking hot dog had surprise mystery cheese inserted inside of it. Gross, I spit it out immediately because one thing I can't stand is mystery cheese inside of my tube of mystery meat. I want to keep them separated. I'm pretty positive that's what old Donnie Trumps is talking about when he's talking about the time when America was great. It was the time before cheese was forced inside of hot dogs. So I'm not make America great again. You grate the cheese. You put it on top of the hot dog. That's how God wants it. Anyway, we all know that America's birthday is not just about eating hot dogs. It's about that time when Great Britain wasn't being all that great towards America. It was being bad. Bad, bad Britain. And... America was like, hey, Great Britain, we're tired of you uh, taxing us money so you can run this violent global empire. Uh-uh, no more. We're going to do that shit ourselves. <laughs> now, look at America. We got our own violent global empire where we got a tax on everything you earn, everything you buy. Even if you already bought a house and a car, you get a paid tax on that every year. Some people would call that paying rent, but not the government and not me because the government's got way more guns than I've got. And I looked it up, they got 100% more guns than me. So yeah, yeah, call it a tax, it's fine. Great Britain, Great Britain is a lot like uh, America. Like if you look at the tax system, 
Um, so it's like, it's like we did it, y'all. It's like we made America great Britain again. So, <laughs> we did it! America is like, it's like uh, Britain's kid. It's like it started off all rebellious in the teen years, and then America grew up. And it was like, look at us, Papa. We're just like you. Aren't you proud, Papa? I would love, I would love to see what would happen if every single American just stopped paying taxes. Hey, hey, it worked for America getting its independence from Great Britain. Maybe it'll work for America to get its independence from America. So, <laughs> it could work! Woo! It's not like, it's not like America doesn't have independence, because it's got all kinds of stuff Great Britain doesn't have. America's got its own idol. America's got its own talent. America's got its own pie, America's got its own hustle, America's got its own beauty, America's got its own horror story, America's got its own sniper, America's got its own splendor, America's got its own history X. America, America's got its own psycho already. We already got one. And we got our own badass, Kid Rock. He said he's America's badass in a song, so it's got to be true. And Britain doesn't have any badasses singing about it in a rap rock genre, so we're way better than them in that category. And America's got its own Pledge of Allegiance, right? Y'all remember saying that in public school? If you do, raise your hand like they made you do in public school. Yeah, you got to say it every day because nothing nothing says freedom like getting impressionable children to pledge lifelong allegiance in a monotone fashion to a, a, a land of ma massive land you know <laughs> massive massive land you know that's that's freedom so <laughs> And then what happens? You get out of public school and there's nary an opportunity to pledge allegiance. <laughs> you gotta go home all by yourself. Nobody's looking at you. You're pledging allegiance. And how sad is that? That's like, it's like masturbating to the thought of yourself being a good American. <laughs> you need a crowd. It's a team sport. You want everybody to know your allegiances are being pledged. That's why I always end every email with the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> that way your loved one or business associate has all, you know, they know your allegiance with America, you're in allegiance. And then also the NSA has all your documented allegiance in their database, so when they, they investigate you, it's not just dick pics and badge vids. They got, you know, they can see allegiance, baby. That's what we want. Or you can take it a step further. Do this. Do this at your next big, big party. Uh, you you, you, everybody's having a great time on the dance floor, uh, keeping it crunk, getting down. And, and you tell the DJ, DJ, cut that fucking music. I got a pledge to lead. And then you, you lead a pledge. And the next day, everybody's talking about how hard they pledged the night before. And they're like, they're like, your friends are probably like, damn, homie, you pledged to the to the flag and to the republic and to which it stands. Woo! I've never seen somebody pledge so hard. Oh man, all this talk about pledging is getting me in the mood to do some pledging. I don't know about y'all. Well. Yowzer. Let's, I mean, let's, let's do it. We could probably do it, right? All we got, look, here's, here's all you gotta do. Is, is, there, is there a flag? It doesn't matter. Hey, there could be a flag in your heart. 
All you gotta do, you just hold a part of your body. I forget which part. Just choose, choose any part of your body. Grab onto it. It can even be a neighbor's part of their body if they give consent. Don't just go grabbing them. And just feel it. You know, feel like you want to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just feel like you want to give a lifelong allegiance to to something made up. Okay. <laughs> Blind, blind faith, here we go. Okay. I pledge allegiance. You can say it, you can say it with me, it's fine. Pledge allegiance to the flag. It's in all of our hearts. It's not very physical right now. I don't know why this is such a communist establishment that won't embrace American flag form. Oh, America! <laughs> I'm just gonna improvise some lines here. Just add a little, a little something extra. Oh, America, thanks for everything you've given us. Thanks for the land. Thanks for the, the, the rent that we gotta pay to make no part of the land of the free actually free. Sarcasm. Thanks for all the wars and keeping most of the world unsafe, except for <laughs> this area. <laughs> Thanks for keeping church and government totally separate. <laughs> In your name we pray, amen. In <laughs> God we trust. And I believe that's my 10-ish minutes. It was probably way longer than that. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me all the way from another state. You're very welcome. Individuals. Bless you. Thank you.